This here, Cayman Islands and Jamaica, uh, we're now in monitor mode just because of the uncertainty of how much this area will spin up. And I'm not going to lose sight that the uh, conditions down the road are more conducive for development. So we're in monitor mode now in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. What does that mean? Well, I'd appreciate it if you would spread the word about, uh, about this just to get the right information out because I know there's a lot of stuff out there like a massive hurricane or not at all or whatever. Just want to get the right information out. So Thursday and Friday, there is the possibility of tropical storm conditions. Is it likely at this point? Not quite sure. But there is the possibility that as this area moves near Jamaica on a Thursday, that it would start to develop. Okay, I'm not seeing crazy signs at this point of a, a major hurricane. That's good. That could change, but I'm not seeing that right now. But we're just spreading the word, monitor mode, not necessarily taking any preparations yet because I don't even know what we'd be taking preparations for yet, uh, but we're in monitor mode. Now, tomorrow we may en end up in action mode depending on uh, what I'm seeing. And action mode would mean we start making preparations and I'd be very specific about what that means. But right now, just please uh, spread the word uh, about the potential of a system nearby. And that's it. Here's the most likely track of this tropical disturbance. So the next few days, right on track from exactly what I was showing yesterday and the day before. Uh, so a tropical disturbance, not a name system, moves into the Eastern Caribbean tomorrow and Tuesday. And then Haiti and the Dominican Republic, it'll be just to the south, south of Puerto Rico as we work our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, it'll be very close to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Now,